Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over some new Charlotte Tilbury products, the Jewel Lips and Jewel Pots, which I really should say pot because um, only one got sent to me and I thought I was losing my marbles because I would have sworn I had put the Jewel Pot in Walk of No Shame <laughs> and the pillow talk one in my basket. However, upon arrival, I have two, two of the walk of no shame. And um, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I went online to see if I could find the pillow talk one because I was just going to wait to do this video. I couldn't find it online at all. But then I thought, okay, did I mess up and just imagine pillow talk being in the jewel pot, but I didn't because it is on Charlotte Tilbury's Instagram as well as Charlotte Holdcroft, which is the reason why I know about these to begin with because she posted and then I immediately went and here's a picture of both of them. So that is on Charlotte's page and Charlotte's page. <laughs> So I know that I had seen it. So I don't know why I got sent to Walk of No Shame, but I'm really, really sad about it. So uh, yeah. Anywho, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and talk about each of these and then I'm going to get into a demo. I just want to let you guys know that all of these products are limited edition for now. <laughs> I say that because it seems to be that a lot of times with Charlotte, that uh stuff comes back but i don't know if it will or not all i know is as of right now they are limited edition i'm going to start off with this jewel pot right here in a walk of no shame now if you are familiar with charlotte tilbury you have heard of walk of shame which i have and i it, this absolutely threw me off i'm not sure if she's going to be changing the names of the other products or if this is just a you know a cutesy little play on it not sure but it really did throw me off all right let me get on the charlotte tilbury website the description reads what makes it magic a gliding gilding jewel of texture to light up your eyes and enchant everyone you meet <laughs> it's infused with diamond powder multi-layered pearl pigments hyaluronic acid vitamin e argon oil macadamia oil and rose hip oil so there's this can be very nourishing to the eyes and these retail for 35 dollars well, this retails <laughs> i don't know why i'm saying these because clearly i don't have pillow talk i picked up both of the jewel lips pillow talk as well as walk of no shame these retail for 32 dollars each and what makes them magic it says that it lasts up to seven hours really I'm gonna have to test that out. I have it on top of a lipstick right now, but I'm gonna have to test that out. It also has hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and then a film form polymer creates a soft, elegant, non-tacky feeling on the lips, diamond powder as well, jewel toned pearls, 93% agree that the mirror-like finish helps to optically hide fine lines interesting and then 92 percent agree that the product gives the lips a sheer wash of glimmering glossy color <laughs> it just seems like well duh <laughs> and 97 percent agree that their lips are coated with a cushiony non-sticky veil i do agree with that because these are definitely not sticky they feel very nice on the lips and then there's two more 96 percent agree that the product applies smoothly with no dragging I agree to that. And then 97% agree that the product is long lasting. I'll have to let you guys know. For the swatches, we have Pillow Talk, which is a pink glittering lip gloss with a dreamy rose gold sparkle. And then Walk of No Shame, a ruby red glittering lip gloss with a dreamy copper sparkle. Moving on to the eye look, I did go ahead and pull out my Pillow Talk Luxury Eye Palette. I felt like I needed it. So I am using this in conjunction with the Jewel Topper to create this look. So let's go ahead and get into that. And then I will show you guys the glosses and then how I created this lip. Sonia G Crease 2. I'm taking this second shade in the Pillow Talk palette from Charlotte Tilbury. And I am putting this into my crease back and forth windshield wiper motions first. And her usual circular mush <laughs> mushrooms <laughs> motions to push it upward. I want to have a little bit of groundwork down 
So this will like blow out the look. I got a little too much on this inner corner, so I'm gonna get a different brush and kind of blend that out. Something that doesn't have any additional product on it. Like this Zoeva 227. <laughs> Went a little overboard right here, but it's okay. Blend it out. And then finish blending the rest of it. I'm really making sure to smoke this out because like I said, I'm going to be putting that jewel pot on and I really just want to have something that blows that color out without it being like, too much. I don't know. I feel like I always end up being too much at the end for some people, but not for me. I'm like, woo, all the smoky eye and I'm really happy with it. And the reason why I like to take the color into this portion of the eye right here, it's just because it makes the eye look a little bit larger and the nose look a little smaller. And of course, I will also be putting like my contour down my nose, but I just like to have this here as well. Same shade on a Bristles Beauty EO3DM. I am taking this and running it right along the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go in with the Jewel Pot in Walk of No Shame on a Sonia G Worker Pro. I'm gonna start off by swiping this on the lid. And then I am slowly going to start like turning my brush and working it upward. Same jewel pot, but now I am taking it on the lower lash line with a Bristles Beauty EO5PS. Sonia G Flat Definer, first shade in the Pillow Talk palette. I'm going to highlight my brow arch. I'm going to take the same brush, but now I'm grabbing the Celestial shade. I'm going to pop that on my inner corner. The first Jewel Lips Dazzling Diamond Gloss I am going to go in with is Pillow Talk. And then the Dazzling Diamond Gloss in Walk of No Shame. For the final lip, I already have on Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk and I'm going to top it with Pillow Talk Jewel Lips. My first impression thoughts on these products, starting off with the Jewel Lips. These are beautiful glosses. I don't think that they're something super special, but they're really pretty. I'm really glad that I have them in my collection. They're not sticky. They have just a little bit of pigment, but not too much. This one, I could definitely see a difference. This one is more of like my lips, but better. This one actually deepened up. This is the Walk of No Shame. That is, it is really <laughs> getting to me because I want to say Walk of Shame. I'm not sure if like she did this on purpose or if she's going to be changing the name. I don't know. It just seems kind of strange to me, the Walk of No Shame. Either way, this one deepened up my lips a little bit. I could wear this with a liner and have like a little bit more depth and glossiness to my lips, whereas this one is definitely just a slightly pumped up version of my lips, which I really, really like. You guys know, <laughs> not only is Pillow Talk a huge seller for Charlotte Tilbury, I love Pillow Talk. It's just one of my absolute favorites. The only one product that I know of from Pillow Talk that I'm just not... Yeah, I'm just like, okay, is the lipstick. I really liked it at one point, but it's not one that I grabbed for a lot, but the gloss I will, and I love the eyeshadow palette, obviously. I'm really sad that I didn't get the jewel pot in Pillow Talk. I don't know what happened with that, but obviously I don't have it. When it comes back though, <laughs> if it comes back, I will be purchasing it because I like this formula. What I like about the jewel pots 
is that they are much more airy. Now, if you're familiar with the eyes to mesmerize, this is a much more moussey type of formula, which I really do enjoy, but it's also more on the metallic side, whereas this has that beautiful dance of glitter. It's not too much. It doesn't emphasize anything. It's not too over the top. So if you're somebody who wants to have that little bit of shimmer, kind of like a celestial shade, but in a pot and easier to use, then this would be a really great product for you. And it's not super messy. Yes, I did get a little bit of fallout. That would be prevented just by using your finger, but I like using brushes. And I love that I can use a brush with this and then blend it upward. I like how blendable it is. And I just think it looks really nice and sophisticated. Again, it's not overboard. It's not something that is going to be like boom glitter, but it's just really nice and beautiful. So I'm really happy with the formula, but these two formulas are absolutely polar opposite. And another thing I noticed was the amount of product. So this one right here, you're getting seven mils or 0.24 fluid ounces. This one costs a little bit more and you're only getting three grams, it's not saying the mils, but 0 0.10 ounces, which is less than half. Now my theory with this could be that a different formula. So this formula could just be heavier and there could be the same amount. You know, kind of like if you have a bucket full of sand, or a bucket full of water, even though the amount is the same in both buckets, <laughs> one is going to weigh more. So I'm not sure about this, but it's just a theory in my head. Another thing I noticed is the difference in packaging. There's some pros and cons here. This one feels much more luxurious in your hand. It's a little bit more weighted, the eyes to mesmerize. And you have this beautiful frosted glass, but then a pretty standard top. This one has a really beautiful top. It even has like the little diamond cuts in it and I really like that. However, the bottom of it is plastic so it's not quite as weighty as the eyes to mesmerize but I like the top of this one more. So I don't know if maybe they decided to cut down on cost because of the top and go with a plastic bottom it maybe it would cost even more if it had the glass as well as this really beautiful top. Not sure, again, <laughs> it's just something that I am theorizing, but it's, it, like I said, it's 50-50. I like the weight and the glass of this one more, but then I like the top of this one more. Not something that's really gonna bother me either way. I have plenty of these type of shadows in all different types of containers. I don't care. It really, <laughs> it's how it goes on the eyes. And I'm just, like I said, really happy with the way that this looks. If certain products like the Hourglass Scattered Light or the Marc Jacobs Sequins, things along those lines are a little too chunky for you or a little too intense, this definitely will be better. I just think it looks so nice and smooth on the eyes. It's just beautiful, it's really beautiful. So for those of you that want something that has that beautiful sparkle but without that added texture, I really do think that this is a good option. Unfortunately, right now there's only the one shade, which I do like, but I really wanna get my hands on Pillow Talk. That is it for today, beauties. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and then the little lip swatches. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.